Hey, what's going on guys? It's Havoc here, long time no see. I know it's been a while since I posted, and I do apologize. I, I hope you guys have all been doing well, and I'm gonna be making plenty more tutorials here in the upcoming future. Today I want to show you guys how to make a YouTube banner for free using Pixlr. I did this tutorial about a year and a half ago and it got so much support and I just thought I might as well go ahead and make an update video. So, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and download a font. Um, for any YouTube banner, um, I personally prefer using the non-default fonts on any programs, on any editing programs. I tend to like to go and install a font that I prefer better. And a great website to do that is defont.com. So for this tutorial, we're gonna be using Venator, this font right here. Pretty much just go to this website. You can go and search for like the most popular fonts and uh, just go ahead and search. There's probably about thousands upon thousands of fonts on here. And basically when you find one that you like, go to download and it should go ahead and download it. As you can see, it's right here. Then go to show in folder and then just drag it onto your desktop. As you can see, I already have it on there. So you're just gonna wanna drag it onto your desktop, open it up, double click it. And then you're gonna want to double click this middle one right here with the text on the sheet, double click it and then press install and I don't have to do that because I already have it installed and one problem that a lot of people had in the previous tutorial was trying to get the font that you installed to show up on Pixlr now the thing that you're gonna have to do is just restart your browser and once you do that open it back up um, then it should show up and that's why that's the first step so the, the next thing that you're gonna want to pretty much do is just go to pixlr.com link is down below in the description and uh, I do realize, yes, they do have an updated version. I still prefer the older version. I was originally doing this tutorial because they had a new version, but I just don't like it. And it's just not good enough to use for a YouTube banner. And the only reason is because you can't change the layers. If you have a layer that you already made, you can't move it up or down. You're gonna pretty much just open up the Pixlr editor, the original one, and it should open up this create a new image and we're going to make the width 2560 by 1440 and transparent click OK. So there it is right there. Um, basically all you need to do to zoom in and zoom out is just scroll on your mouse. And uh, once pretty much once you have that, uh, the next step is to try to get the YouTube banner template. So link is down below in the description. It will take you to this uh, picture right here. And basically this just shows you what your template will look like, what your banner will look like on each device. So dark gray is what your banner will look like on mobile devices. Now the light gray, the entire width of this screen will be what it looks like on computers. And then the entire screen will be what it will look like on the TV. So basically you're gonna want your entire contents to be in this dark gray area because most people actually view your YouTube channel on mobile devices. Um, so basically just right click, save image as. So now it's on your desktop. So we're gonna go back to Pixlr, go to layer, open image as layer, and then just go ahead and click on it. So it should fit uh, pretty much exactly in, these, in, in your Pixlr document because it's the same dimension. So now you're just gonna wanna click on the type tool, click anywhere on the document, and we're gonna use obviously the uh, font that we installed, um, but we're gonna basically change the size to 100, um, color to white and click okay. And I'm just gonna be putting in my channel name. So I'm gonna be putting in the Havoc, um, all uppercase, and I'm gonna put two spaces in between each letter um, just to kind of expand the channel name across the banner. I think it look a little more professional if we do that, so click okay. And unfortunately, Pixlr, you can't really see exactly where the center of your document is. So you just have to eyeball it. So I usually kind of look and see where this font is and try and eyeball it. And I'm gonna right click, go to layer styles, and I'm gonna put a drop shadow on this just to make the text stand out a little more. Opacity 100, distance four, and size two. And I think that should be pretty good. Click okay. 
and as you can see you can kind of see the little drop shadow so i think it makes it pop more obviously you can't see the background right now we haven't added it yet all that's missing for text wise is social media so we're going to switch the size to 60 and the style is going to say stay the same color white again and no spaces in between this one but i'm still going to put it in all uppercase because if we do lowercase I don't think it really looks the best with this font. So at the Havoc, and I'm gonna do Instagram and Twitter logos. Pretty much just put what you use the most and that should be good. So right click, layer styles. Gonna put another drop shadow on this and same same, same uh, settings as before, 100, four, and two, press okay. And then we're gonna right click, duplicate layer. And since both of my Twitter and Instagram uh, names are the same i can just click and drag if yours is different just go to the type tool click on this one and you can change it right here and so now that we have the text the only thing that we're missing besides the background is the uh, the instagram and the twitter logo so just go back to chrome and we're going to search in instagram logo png into google and make sure you find one that's transparent throughout because some of these are just transparent on the outside and not the inside. Once you find a good one, just right click, save image as, save it onto your desktop. And same thing with Twitter logo, right click, save image as. And now that you have that, go back to Pixlr. Okay, so we're gonna go to layer, open image as layer, and just go ahead and open up our Twitter logo. Go to edit, free transform, obviously this is way too big. So make sure you click on the corner ones and make sure you hold on shift as well while you're resizing this um, or else you won't get the proper aspect ratio. So we're gonna make it about the same size as the height of the channel name and we're gonna put it right underneath the name right there. And now you're gonna right click and basically personally, I think all of the text and all of the logos should be the same color um, or else it kind of distracts the eye and it just doesn't look as professional in my opinion. So for this, we're going to right click, go to layer styles, and we're going to add an inner glow first, the opacity all the way up, hardness all the way up, and size all the way up. And we're going to change the color to white, click OK. And we're also going to add a drop shadow, obviously, 100 four and two same setting click OK and there's your Twitter logo I don't know what do you guys prefer but um, this looks a whole lot better to me and go to layer open image as layer and we're gonna do the same thing with the Instagram logo it's obviously too big so go to free transform and we're gonna change the size of this down to basically the same size so same thing Instagram layer styles we're gonna go to inner glow all the way up on everything and then white drop shadow and then click OK and there it is um, pretty high quality I would say pretty high quality logos so the only thing that we're missing now is a really nice background to make this text look good, to make this banner look good. And we're also missing a texture to kind of blend that background into the text. It kind of makes it a, just kind of flow better. So we're going to go back to Chrome. And uh, for this banner, I'm going to basically be searching for Fantasy Nature Wallpaper 4K. So something that looks kind of cool i guess um and then we're also going to be searching for an abstract texture so you're going to search both of these things into google and you've got a lot of cool kind of examples right here cool things that you can use so basically you can just scroll through google um and search for a picture that looks really good now make sure you think about the width and the height of a banner and it's very wide and it's not too tall so you're going to want to make sure that you find something that will look good um, and will show a lot enough contents on the banner so you know some of these space ones kind of look cool um, and you can just keep scrolling um, indefinitely I mean there are lots of search results so and you can even click on some of these and get some cool cool other examples and that's how I found 
this picture right here and this is what I'm going to be using for my banner so once you find something good you can just right click save image as right there save it onto your desktop and sometimes it won't save it to the full um, quality I guess so sometimes you have to visit the website and you know it's up to you if you want to do this but you can visit it and then save image as and uh, you're gonna basically just look for a texture that kind of that kind of goes along with your background and I'm gonna use this one because it kind of goes along with the background um, that I picked which is kind of a space sort of theme so right click save image as and we're gonna save it onto your desktop so we're gonna go back to pixlr and go to layer open image as layer and we're gonna open up this background right here and there it is right there and we're gonna need to free transform this get it to the full size right about there and click OK so now that we, that we have this picture we can't really see what the template looks like on the bottom so I'm gonna drag this layer and put it all the way below layer one so that we can still see the template so we're going to add a new layer and we're going to be basically putting a black rectangle on the top and a black rectangle on the bottom right here. And we're going to make sure to put this layer before this other one. So just drag it and put it on top of layer one. So this is basically what your banner will look like. Just this long wide area right here is what will it will look like on the computer. Very few people watch YouTube on TV. It's mostly on mobile and computer. So now we're just gonna drag the background layer above layer one, but below the uh, two rectangle layers. And this is what your banner will look like with the background. So you can basically play around and I pretty much want this picture i want people to be able to see the airplane which is down here and also be able to see this explosion of the planet so i'm going to kind of rotate it and i'm going to rotate it this way so you can see basically everything and i'm going to have to resize it a little bit because it's not matching the the restrictions on the sides and there it is right there and i'm going to click yes so you can see the airplane you can see the the planet kind of exploding in the other planet and it looks pretty cool you got light and dark on this side so this is good this looks good there's something missing though and for that i think you need to add a texture so we're going to go to layer open image as layer and we're going to go to our texture and there it is right there we're going to go to free transform and make this thing the entire size click OK and we're gonna go to toggle layer settings and change the opacity of this to 20 because if it's too much uh, you won't be able to see the background obviously and I think 20 is just about right so just go ahead and click on that again obviously these colors don't match they don't mesh together obviously so you can change the color of this texture by going to adjustment hue and saturation and it's up to you which color you want your background to be, but I really want mine to be kind of blue. Um, and so you can change the lightness, the darkness. It's really up to you um, what you really want. Click OK. And I'm going to go back to the background layer right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do hue and saturation. And you can basically just play around with this. I mean, you can change the colors. Um, but I really want just kind of a blue so I might change the saturation a little bit and It just makes the colors pop a little more if you change the saturation You can also change the lightness and darkness once again And I think you can just kind of view this see what you really like and Just go off of there, but I think this looks really good. Um, I think it's basically finished now we can delete the first layer which is this one just go ahead and delete it and this is our banner I think this is good once you have your finished product um, just go to file and save and you're gonna want to push the quality obviously to 100 and it's up to you JPEG or PNG I prefer JPEG uh, personally you can name it something um, banner and press OK 
and then put it on your desktop wherever you want it here is the banner that I just made and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up so you guys can see it should be pretty good quality um, and that should be pretty good now if you want to put it onto your YouTube channel you would just go to YouTube and you're gonna want to just click anywhere on your banner and you can basically just select the photo select the banner and we can just select the one that you just made and click open and it should upload it but this is basically how to make a banner for YouTube for free stay tuned for later tutorials and also stay tuned for that updated video I'm gonna just kind of explain where I've been what I've been doing um, and hopefully you guys will understand why I've been gone so long and I will see you guys in future tutorials. It's been your boy Havoc here, and I'm out. Peace.